Greetings and welcome back, one and all, to Robocraft and to the Kapoicopter. Uh, this moment, oh, my leaderboard is down. Ah, that's right. I have got F9 set up as one of the uh, keys that I need to hit to start recording. So every time I do it, it bumps my uh, scoreboard down to the last tier. We are currently in ninth position in tier 9. Lathrid is in 7th. 1F Jeff is in 6th. Sun Tzu is at 4. Who's at the very top? Let's have a look. Seal Shark. And his die is a three. Oh, his die. Now, you may notice down at the bottom, there's a little uh, platoon icon. It's because we're in a platoon. Hurrah! Let's see if they are YouTube shy or not. We've got LMC, Leafin, and Uni. Grave Lord isn't around, and... Uh, is that is up for some platooning, but possibly in a little while. So we're going to platoon uh, with this group for now. We are going to be fighting in tier 9. And I see no reason to hold up. Let's jump straight into the first battle. We are going to be taking out the Kapoicopter, just so that I can get a, a, a bit of uh, decent RP from the higher tiers. Also get those spangly tier 9 tech points that I really don't need, because I've got 280 of them. Ah... Uh, I really need to move into Tier 10, and I fancy that the Kapoi Copter will be the Copter to move in to Tier 10. <laughs> yes, Uni remembers Gravelord's lesson from the last time I platooned for the uh, footage for the update video. And that is, one should not charge into the enemy, one should advance. Very, very subtle difference, but quite an important one, we found. Or rather, Gravelord found. More often than not. Now, it looks like there are not actually too many people in Tier 9. Unfortunately, there are only 10 in Tier 10. My lord. Oh, no, there we are. 21 now. We're in Q position 2. So, hopefully, we should get into the fight in not too long. Ah, there we are. I was about to say, if it does take a while, I'll cut it out. But uh, it's as if the game knew what I was thinking. Now, we've got three rails on each team. Two medics on each team. LMC and Leafin are both medics. I actually didn't ask what we, people were bringing. Uni is rail, and I am a plasma copter. Now, I've got to remember, I've got to hit tab three, uh, twice to get to everyone. Uh, instead of the customary once. Okay, uh, we've got one, two, three... No, only three flyers on the enemy team. Or at least those capable of flight. Let's take the Kapoi Copter up. We don't want to be too high up. There are enough uh, snipers around. My helium will keep me drifting up a little bit. I'm going to stick with our teammates, though. To uh, hang around here until we know where everyone's going. Hmm. It looks like a burn run. Burn run, I believe. It could be... I mean, it could be an M. No, it is burn run. It's not bum run. <laughs> Would have been amusing if it was, but it isn't. Right, let's move out then. I'm probably going to be on my own. There are not enough flyers on my team really for me to uh, have an escort, unfortunately. Oh, actually, LMC is with me, and I should be totally looking where I'm going. All right, let's get a, a, a sight on you, shall we? Come on, let's poke your head out. That's right, right by there. That is going to miss. That is a shame. We've always got a flyer over there. And fire. I totally missed again. Got a flyer over yonder. See if we can't hit there. That was a good shot there. And again, if I can. That is not going to do me any favours. And they are gone. Okay, fair enough. Let's uh, move out. Move a little ways over here. Got an enemy making a run for the base by the seams of it. I'm going to position myself ready to attack them if I can. About there, I think. Oh, never mind. They're already dead. Fair enough. There is a rail sniper over here. Someone moving around by there. And we've got a rail walker over there. I need to be descending right now. We've got a hit on him. I'm taking a lot of damage. I have lost one of my primary rotors. Let's go for the cave then. There seems to be a bit of a big fight in here. Oh, thank you very much, LMC. Hugely appreciated. We'll leave our allies to deal with the enemy over there. Whilst we go through the cave. Fantastic. I've got my primary... My second... Um, tier 9 rotor up so the primary pair are back in operational capacity and we've got a flyer coming in he's probably going to connect ah I was a little bit slow on the draw there but my weapons reload very fast 
There we go. I've got a kill! If we should win, I'm not going to be ashamed with my poor score. Right, let's uh, get over here. You've been a bit of a pain. No, you're still there. Alright, let's have a peek. Where are the enemy right now? Some of our teammates are moving in for a kill. And let's see if we can't hit you. Ah, uh, a bit shy. Medic Walker, let's go for about there and sink down. We actually made the hit. Fantastic. We managed to do a bit of damage to that Walker. Right, Leafin is in a great deal of peril. We need to go and help Leafin. Oh, Leafin's probably gone. Damn it, Leafin is gone. Well, drat. I am most dissatisfied with that. Now, our allies are capturing the base. We could hold position here and guard against any attacks that might try to prevent them from taking that base. I fancy that's what we're going to do. We'll remain as a guard. But we've got to keep our eyes out for any enemies approaching this position. There were snipers in that direction. Let's make our way around here. There we are. One coming through. And about there, I think. Just overshot. Again, but there. Nope. He pulled back just in the nick of time. About here, then. Nope. He didn't turn. I'm going to continue to attack you. There. Is that going to hit? No. Drat. That was a terrible shot. But good game, everyone, all the same. We did... Fairly well there, I feel. We did lose Leafin, unfortunately, but uh, we managed to pull the victory out there, whereas I think we were probably on the back foot from about the middle of that battle onwards. I wasn't as situationally aware as I would have liked to have been, so I can't say that with any great certainty, but that was the feeling I was getting. Now, not a bad match. Again. Let us jump in there. Okay, we're up over 100,000 RP and 312 tier 9 tech points. And I have got mail, apparently. Unfortunately, not everyone is ready yet. Let's uh, see who's holding us up. Oh, never mind. They've already signed in. Of course, if someone was uh, trying to alter their bot or something like that, then I would just pull myself out of the queue, because otherwise they're going to have to put up with a constant beeping noise whilst they're trying to sync and make important decisions, and that is never, ever helpful. We are just at the beginning of our level, so it's probably going to take us quite a while before we have enough uh, EXP to get to the next level, especially if we're only getting one or two kills. The Kapoikopter is not nearly as deadly as the... Ichaval, unfortunately. The Ichaval tends to get three to four, sometimes more kills per round. Probably the average is three, but the Kapoikopter, realistically speaking, the average is probably one. Good luck, everyone, and then straight on to team. We have got a number of medics on each team. We've got a Plasma bot on each team. Uh, sorry, uh, a Tesla bot on each team. Ah, oh, that's nice. Cheap fish. You, got, you two guys, oh, that's really nice. Cheap fish on our team? Yes, of course. Our team is very polite. Okay, very nice. Very nice indeed. We've got someone who is thinking tactically. I approve. Go forth, cheap fish. Where is cheap fish? Cheap fish is way up there. Okay, we've got a plasma copter inbound. Very well. Anyone else? I can probably make my way over onto this side and... Uh, Start scouting as well. I'll do the same as Cheatfish. Nice moves there, Cheatfish. Well, well done. Ooh, we've got someone coming through the uh, valley over here. An interceptor, really? How is that an interceptor? It's not a flyer. It's crawling around on the floor. Like a dust goblin. No, no, he doesn't want to uh, have any part of this. Oh, he can see me though. That's duck back. We've got someone else over there. Okay, we've got quite a lot of information, just not using it very well. Let's see if I can't get a plasma volley on your face. There we go. Not bad, 28,000 damage for one solid hit. And he's backed up into the corner there. Easy pickings, 45,000 damage. Let's uh, stay on the, on the move. He's probably going to try and get out of there. 
Yes. Ghost Killer was on the way. Very well, Ghost Killer. You may be in a bit of bad time. Let's get all of these pinged. Ghost Killer is in a lot of a bad time, unfortunately. Let's uh, try and lay down some covering fire for him if we are able. We've got a lot of enemies coming through there. I want to be able to be on the move if I have to be. There we go. Solid hit. Incoming plasma there. Right, the enemies seem to be coming through on this side. So we're going to want to create a uh, beachhead, if you will. That was a good shot there. But I need to be reversing. And about there. Good shot. And again, if we can. He's on the move. We may not be able to take him down. About there. We might hit someone, but probably not. Another one inbound. Is that going to hit me? No. Okay. Right, let's be on the move. They seem to have a decent amount of firepower there. If Uni can get him down here as well, then we'll be able to apply quite a lot of firepower in the form of rails. Oh, don't want you messing up my day. Oh, never mind! Drat, what killed me? A plasma volley. Well played. Well played indeed. Well, that was not particularly useful. And looks like uh, Chief Fish one hit as well. Oh, that is quite the shame. Unfortunately, a lot of our team is medics, so having lost two DPS might be difficult to recover. But that said, that looks like a very tasty bot for medics to just disassemble. Now you should probably go for oh the Tesla blade. They'd be easier to take off. Oh dear. Bad times are happening right now. Uni is gone. Well, the enemy team have done fairly well here. Must be said that we were being cautious, but the enemy team were just constantly pushing forward, whereas we were just defending on our base. That is not a wise thing to do. Um, basically, we want to have the fight in their half of the map, not in ours. But that is absolutely not what happened there. Well, good luck. You're on your own. You may be able to get a few kills. Best of luck with that. You got a good hit there. Medics are on their way. Oh, no. There you're gone. Good game, everyone. That wasn't too bad. Although we lost, it was an interesting engagement all the same. Uh, is it going to end? I... Hmm... No one, no one is dead. No one is around to be killed, and yet the game is an ending. What the dickens? There we go. <laughs> I wasn't just going to run away. I needed to hang around. Make sure that uh, our enemy, enemy though they may be, got their victory. Eight thousand four hundred and five. That was that was a decent match. But we want to win, damn it! So uh, let's try that again. And in we go. We could also do a challenge with this group. <laughs> yes, we did get utterly destroyed. But since we're going to be waiting on LMC, I'm going to pause the recording here and we shall continue when they get back. And welcome back. We didn't have to wait too long on LMC there, which is uh, quite appreciated. We've got two healers on each side. Uh, two rails on ours, three rails on the enemy. We've got four plasmas on ours, three on the enemy side, and two SMGs on both. Interestingly, I am not c classed as a flyer. And LMC is getting all fancy. Oh, that's probably what he had to go and get. Had to go and get the color codes to make rainbow good luck have fun all. Oh, LMC, you show off you. Right, let's see where we're going. Uh, I'm going to have to ask that, though. I must know. Right, let's move out. Leafin is going this way. There's already a trail from a rail gunner. Let's head in this direction. Apparently, Fripper Fry is dangerous. Hopefully, my allies do okay, but they've taken a bit of damage already. Not good to see. Are we going to find any enemies along this route? We sometimes do. 
And even if you don't, you can get around behind the enemies. Which is oft times just as useful. I'm going to fly all the way out here though. And around. Let's see. Doesn't look like we have any enemies around here. Oh, there's a plasma just in there. Let's see if we can't apply some AoE into this area. No, they're gone already. Okay, fine. Back on. Let's move out. Why are you shooting at me? I'm on your side, fool. Okay, looks like our team have done some incredible damage in the initial um, engagement. And about there. There we go. SMG Walker. It's not moving much, though. He's moving a little bit here and there. He's on the move now, though. Let's continue to apply plasma where we can, but he is really not moving. I'm not sure why. I, I was trying to account for lag by the way he was moving around, but it doesn't seem like he's actually trying to avoid this. Uh, in that case, he is AFK. And I will not attack an AFK player. It's a matter of honour. My conscience is clean. You can sully your honour if you want. I won't, though. Uh, let's see. There's one down there. Let's get you pinged. And bombs away. Let's see if we can hit both of them. We can only hit one. And you, plasma copter. Let's see if we can take you out before your hovers get back. Yes, you almost got into the sky, but you have been denied. And we've got a railgunner about there. That's not so great. Fire. We're just going to start strafing and applying damage where we can. Try and hit the medic if I'm able, but it's not actually that easy. I believe I've lost something important. Yes, I have. I've lost but three of my hover blades. Let's reverse out of the danger zone if we can. That is kind of the opposite of reversing, but it'll do. Ah, oh, yeah. I think that was a direct hit on Flipperfly. Let's get up here. Launch. We caught his tail. Not a huge amount of damage. That was not going to work. Flying up like that, just not going to work. Right, I need to get some altitude and see if I can't finish off that enemy. Where are you? Do, or have you already gone down? Yes, I believe you have. One's away. And we've also got you over there. We want to take you out as quickly as we can. Never mind, you're gone. Okay, let's move in. They don't seem able to deal with us at this point. How have we won? Oh. Damn it! Someone... Took the easy way out. We were having fun, you fools. That. No kills, but two assists. 28,713, considering how little I did. 372 damage inflicted there. The copycopter is tanky, but unless you get the right kind of engagement, not particularly effective. However, there is one thing I would like to do, and that is to take away the helium. I don't think the helium's actually helping, and I should probably turn on the mirror line first. More than likely going to help. Let's uh, fill this in and then take it out, then fill it in again, and that'll do it on the other side. There we go. We should be ready now. I'm hoping that the helium is going to make it a little bit easier to control, because it's adding a little bit of drag and is constantly pulling me up, even when I'm trying to get down out of the way. Okay. Nice work, Uni. And LMC, slowly getting used to these controls again. Uh, LMC has recently been playing quite a lot of StarMade, so is having a bit of issue relearning how to control Robocraft. Also, I believe their mouse is broken and is currently held together by duct tape. Honestly, if you can't fix it with duct tape, you may as well just get another one. Right, we've got three medics. We have two rails on each side. Pretty even teams, actually. We have got only two flyers on the enemy side. One rail and one medic. Okay, back to team. On our side, we've got one, two, two flyers, though I consider myself one again. I'm not really sure why a copter is not considered a flyer. Right, moving on. Oh, wow. I noticed the responsiveness without the uh, helium immediately. Wow. That makes a hell of a change. Right, let's just hold this position here. Actually, let's take the high ground since we can. 
and scout for the rest of the team. Roll back a little bit so I don't careen straight into the cliff face. That would be embarrassing. It would also be painful, but mostly it's the embarrassment that I'm worried about. Uh, okay, you can spot, but I cannot. I'm not close enough yet. Try to keep an eye out for any enemy flyers. That may hit. Yes, it does. 11,000 damage as well. Not a small amount. Right, let's get the very high ground here. Let's see. Where are you? No? No enemies around here? Okay, moving on. I'm going to stick close enough to the side here that if I need to, I can immediately descend and get medicking. It seems that our teams have missed each other. Okay, we've got a rail doing some damage to our team there. Let's keep an eye on them. You're going to sneak out? I fancy he probably will. So I'm going to move in in a moment. He's coming forward. No. Where are you going? You're going to go about there maybe? No, way off. That was a terrible shot from me. Okay. Here we are. Rail is back there. I need to get that hit and duck down out of the way as fast as possible. Fire! There we go. Solid shot there. And he's down. Fantastic. Let's go for you. That is not going to hit. I doubt it. Well, anyway. Right, who spotted me? Okay, they don't appear to have any rails that I need to be concerned with. So I'm going to start doing bombing runs. I do need to still worry about the SMGs a little bit. Not as much as I used to have to worry about them due to their range nerf. They've got a plasma over yonder. Okay, well, our team is hovering around here. Ah, we're going to need to get them off our base. I could probably land a plasma on it, but whether I hit anything is anyone's guess. Let's move out. It's way off at the moment. There we are. Fire! And take to the sides. I'm taking a little bit more damage than I would like. Launch. Bingo. Okay, we've lost one hover, uh, one rotor rather, and without the helium, once I lose a rotor, that's it, I'm going down. But we are now in the lead in terms of taking control of a base. Right, our allies are going to have to be on the move, I'm afraid, because damage is coming for them. And, ooh, that helium really was doing an enormous amount of work to keep me in the sky once I'd taken damage. Thank you very much for the healing there. It is keeping me going. We can probably win this, I imagine. The Kapoikopter has an enormous tanking ability, but I do need to be up in order to fire my plasmas. Yikes. And up we go again. Fire. Thank you very much, LMC. You kept me in that fight. I would not have been able to make it without your expert medicry. Got one assist as well, but uh, did a little bit more damage this time and 31,000 RP as a result. I think that's enough platooning with the Kapoikopter for now, though. I fancy perhaps taking it out either in a different configuration. In fact, I might, but we'll do that in the next episode. I think I will change the Kapoikopter to a healing configuration and see what we can do. But that, as I said, will be for the next episode. I do hope you've liked this one and will be joining me for the next. But until then, and as always, do take care.